So I just walked out of the movie theater. I'm on the road, so I can't go home to film right now. Um, I had literally nowhere else to film. I just walked out of it a minute ago, minute ago and I happened to have my mic in the car right here. So it kind of worked out perfectly. Um, obviously, this isn't the best lighting. I have this fucking thing, man. This is the best light I'm going to get. Um, so I went and saw Searching. I was lucky enough to be able to sneak out for, for a little bit and go see it. Uh, the trailers and everything before this, the movie didn't start for 25 minutes since you know, after its runtime or after uh, the start time, whatever. 25 minutes. That's the longest ever. They even have a short film before it that the director of this film picked out. I was just blown away by that. 25 minutes. Anyway, that has nothing to do with the film itself. I was just Wow, I was kind of pissed off because I rushed over here to get here just as the movie was starting. And I was like, oh man, I'm a couple minutes late. Hopefully, you know, whatever. 25 minutes, man, I could have stopped, got food. Anyways, okay, I was just very annoyed by that. Now, as far as the film goes. Now, this is a um, found footage type film, uh, more technology-based found footage, much like Unfriended or The Den or something like that, where everything is done on laptop screens, YouTube videos, FaceTime calls, and whatnot. It stars the dude from Harold and Kumar. Um, what the hell's that guy's name? I am completely blanking on it. And Star Trek and everything. Uh, I like him. I just can't think of his name at the moment. It doesn't doesn't really matter. I should know that, though. Um, and, like, John... Ah, damn. I can't remember. Anyways, that's not important. So, the film, in case you don't know what this film is about, is this guy's daughter goes missing. And so he is searching for her, and he's going into her computer, and he's looking through her life, and he's realizing that while she's missing, and he's trying to figure out where she is that he might not have known his daughter as well as he thought he did. Um, so that's that's as much as I want to say about this movie. Uh, as far as my overall thoughts, I thought the movie was excellent. Now, I definitely think there will be people that find the film to be a little too contrived at times. And I could understand that. Definitely. It has tons and tons of twists and turns and unexpected moments and, you know, red herrings. And I thought that that all was all expertly done. And I was I was engaged in this the entire time. And I will admit <laughs> begrudgingly that I did cry a couple times because this is a film that will wreck parents. Just the overall experience. Just watching somebody search for their kid like this and, and, and feel like they don't know who they are and, and maybe they failed as a parent and, and to just be dealing with, uh, you know, not knowing where your kid is, what could be happening to her and all that. All of those emotions that are going through these films and I feel like, you know, um, the main actor, I can't fucking remember his name right now. God, I feel like a piece of shit for that. I want to say John Cho. God, I hope that's right. Um, anyways, um, I just, I thought he really did a great job of, of, um, of really portraying this, this lost father who just can't for the life of him figure out how this all happened. And, and, you know, how he lost touch of his daughter and all those kinds of things. I, I thought he was just great in that. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not getting anywhere near enough attention, for sure. But what I have seen on the film is almost all positive. Um, I've seen people call it masterpiece. I've seen, you know, I'm not sure I would use that word specifically, but um, it's great. Now, as far as it being a horror movie, it's a horror movie for a parent. I'll tell you that shit right now. Um, it also, you know, another thing that I really liked about this movie was its use of modern times and how 
different things are now. How fake some people are and, you know, how people are constantly searching for attention as I sit here talking on my YouTube channel. Um, I just love all the different takes on modern times through this technology and how it's kind of changed us all and and changed our understanding of things. And, and um, I just thought all that was super well done. Um, I don't really have any negatives to the movie except for taking 25 minutes for the movie to start. Other than that, I really was in the movie the entire time. Um, I thought it all really played out extremely well and, and I was happy um, with the film as a whole. Uh, but it was a very uh, thrilling and emotional experience for sure. Um, so yeah, if you're a parent of kids, <laughs> it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one to sit through. It's a thriller. Um, it, it's, as I said, it's got tons and tons of twists and turns in it. Um, and it, it really kind of kept me on the edge of my seat and, and engaged the entire film till the last second. So, uh, kudos for the, to them for that. I, I feel like that's, that's it. The way that they're doing these movies, the unfriended, uh, the unfriended dark web, the, uh, the, the, the other one I, I mentioned, uh, the, the, the den, and there's been a few others that I've seen where it's all just like on laptops. Um, man, some of these Unfriended is, is a perfect example. It shouldn't work. It really shouldn't. It's such a stupid gimmick and you would think it would get so old. And I'm sure to some people it will. But uh, for me, I can only really speak for me, honestly. It shouldn't work. But for some reason it works so damn well. And I almost have to wonder if that has any kind of anything to do with almost the familiarity and the comfort of the computer screen, the the tech that we're so accustomed to in our life now. Like I can kind of feel my emotions through that because that's where a lot of my emotions reside these days. You know, I talk to almost all of my friends. I don't even know any of them in real life almost any of them. I've never met them. I've never talked to them on the phone. I don't even know what their voice sounds like. I've seen pictures. Some of them, I've never even seen their pictures. They use like animated pictures and, and, and pictures of movies and pictures of whatever. And these are people I've talked to for years. I don't even know what they look like. That's crazy when you sit back and you think about it. Um, so I, I think that, yeah, I think movies like this kind of are comforting in that way. And also they make you think of life and, and kind of how things have changed and, and how you have, um, you know, been affected by them. So anyways, uh, not to get <laughs> too in-depth with my own stuff, but these kinds of films can, can bring that out of you in the moment. And, and, uh, but just getting, you know, kind of final thoughts. I, 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 I definitely think people should go check this out. Uh, I, I hope it gets supported. When I went in the theater, there wasn't a ton of people. Um, I'm not really hearing a ton about it. Oh, shit. <laughs> the light went off, guys. That's how long I've been talking. Well, it's good to know that my... Oh, God dang it. Oh, there it is. All right, well, I'm going to wrap this up. <laughs> my car is trying to wrap it up. There you go. Lights went out. I'm probably scared some people. Um, and, yeah, so... Check this movie out. It's a, it's a really fun ride. I enjoyed the shit out of it, as you know. And let me know if you've seen it, or let me know if you uh, are planning on seeing it. And if you do, uh, let me know. All right, guys. Um, I shouldn't be driving and filming.